Welcome. Today we're talking with Shondell Barciana. She is the CEO and founder of Barcy Media, providing content strategy, copywriting, and related services. Shondell, welcome and thank you for joining us at today's Banker Digest. Thank you so much for having me. Great. Well, Shondell, let's get started. So what are the keys to writing effective content? Uh, so the, the main thing when you're writing effective content is you want to um, find out what it is your target audience wants to know, because uh, that's really where your content should be coming from. So what questions do they have? What are they complaining about? Uh, what misconceptions do they have? You want to be a part of the conversation that they're already having, because most people aren't waking up and saying, you know, I want to buy a car today. They've probably thought about that, you know, Acura that they like. They've thought they've had some thoughts and they've probably done some research online. They probably talked to some friends and family. So you mm -hmm. want to be a part of that conversation that they're having by educating them through your content. Um, and your education should be addressing the questions that they have to get that, that Acura or to buy that house. Great. Thank you, Shondell. So how do banks identify the questions their target audience are asking? Well, ba banks identify the questions that they're asking by, for one, you've got to find out where your target audience is hanging out. Where are they congregating? That's where you want to be. So are they on Facebook? Are they in Facebook groups? Are they on forums? Are they at meetups? Are they, you know, showing up at conferences? Because wherever mm -hmm. they are is where you have to show up consistently. And showing up where they are consistently allows you to hear what it is they're talking about and hear what it is they're complaining about. Um, sometimes they may have misconceptions. They may think, um, you know, their credit score has to be X, but it really doesn't because you've got a product to satisfy that. But they may not know because people just listen to what their friends say and what they may hear, and it may not be true. So that's where you want to educate them through your content and you're addressing those concerns that they have so that um, eventually they will raise their hand and say, you know what, um, I, I, I want to buy a car and I need a car loan or I want to buy a house, I need a mortgage. What, what kind of products do you have? So showing up where they are consistently will help you to figure out what it is they want to know. And that's part of building relationships with them as well, consistently. All right, Chandel, thank you. So following along with, with your comments, now that I have the content for my target audience's questions, what do you advise banks on promoting their content? So now that you know, you know where they're congregating and you've been listening to what it is they're talking about, you want to promote your content in those exact same spots. So if they're on, you know, Twitter, if they're on Instagram, if they're on Facebook, wherever it is they're hanging out, you want to promote your content there because that's where they're hanging out. And you've already been hanging out there to find out what it is they want to know. So just push the same, push the content in the exact same places where they congregate. Because there's no point in putting content where they're not hanging out because then it's just going on deaf ears. Your target audience is not there. So you don't need to be there either. So the focus should always be be where they are and whether like I said whether that's in groups forums um, wherever you have to know where they are and show up there consistently and then pr produce content so if you're doing blog posts um, the blog post should be around the questions that they're asking that mm -hmm. you've been paying attention to because you've been hanging out where they congregate so that's the only thing your content should be focused on is what it is they are talking about questions misconceptions complaints those are the the, the main three things that you want your content to focus on Great, great. Shondell, thank you so much for sharing your insights with today's Banker Digest. Your approach of focusing on a bank's marketing and sales content on their target audience's key questions is obviously very powerful, but I suspect it still requires expertise to be successful. It does, um, especially because it does take time to build relationships with your audience. And it's really important to build relationships with them because you don't want people to feel like a number, even though, you know, everyone knows that, you know, banks have hundreds of thousands of customers, but you don't want your, your customers to feel like they are number 8,302. You want them to still feel like individuals. And in order for them to feel that way, you've got to be producing content that's addressing the pain points that they have. Great, great. Thank you again. So in closing, thank you for joining today's Banker Digest. If you have additional questions for Shondell, please see the link in her bio.